I'm circuit bending this keyboard. Check it out. I found a cool sound that I really, really like. And in order to access this sound anytime I want, I have to actually solder these two wires to a toggle switch. Now, soldering is really easy to do. All you need is a soldering iron and a reel of rosin core solder, which is a mixture of tin and lead. First, I plug in my soldering iron and allow it to heat up. And then I open a window or turn on a fan for ventilation. Now, when I do circuit bending, I use a 30-watt soldering iron and a thin gauge of solder. Now, your local hobby or electronics store will help you figure out which setup is right for your own project. Now, first, you want to coat the surface of the spot that you're about to solder. This is called tinning. Now, be very, very careful. The soldering iron is hot and can actually burn through anything. So you only want to pick it up by the handle. Now bring the iron into the location and heat up the location point and then bring in your solder. Notice how it bubbles and coats the surface. So with the areas coated, I bring in the iron a second time to heat up the location point. Then I push through the wire and allow it to bond and cool with the location. And I push the wire through, take away the iron, and then allow the uh, wire to cool and bond with the surface. Now let's test out our uh, connection here. So. There you have it. We made an electrical connection. This soldering setup only costs about $25. And with a little practice, you can make anything from stained glass to, well, circuit bending your very own musical instrument. I'm Bianca Pettis, talking maker to maker. Major funding for Make is provided by Geek Squad.